welcome everyone to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, his name is Bricky, and oh boy, I'm sure depravity will ensue. But before it does, if you enjoy today's episode and maybe you want to support the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous, where you can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen, $15 tier gets you access to all of our posters in crispy HD digital format. Sign up today at patreon.com slash adeptus ridiculous bricky. Tell them things. Oh, I'm going to tell them everything. Uh, if you'd like to check out and support our channel as well, go ahead and check out Orchid8.com. Link in the description where we have all kinds of great merchandise, including game desk mats, dice for your Warhammer games, as well as awesome hoodies, tees, sweatpants for lounging, and more. Also, if you check the site, uh, you may notice it's a little different. Ooh! Uh, we have made a big update to the theming there, and I think for the most part, you should find a lot more accessibility. It should run way better, both for mobile and desktop. Um, it's not fully done yet, but overall, I think right now it, it looks significantly better. Uh, so oh. I'm very happy about that. Check it out, Orchidate.com, link in the description, and read the big DACA. I haven't seen the new site design. Yeah, it, it's it's like it's not huge of a change. We're actually going to make one specifically for Adric, all for Adric, like its own page and everything. <laughs> but if you check it out right now, and, and you know you you go to Deputy Ridiculous part of it, uh, it's just it's just cleaner. It just looks a lot cleaner. It's just cleaner. It's just cleaner. It's just a little cleaner. Hell yeah. Um, so DK, uh, my voice is super shot. I apologize. Uh, apology not accepted. How dare you not take this seriously and get your voice in check before an episode? So how dare you? One hundred and ninety. Tea and honey, maybe. Maybe I had some that this lozenges. Morning. Did you know? that too. Ricola. You know, like what's the deal, man? L- listen, oh, a little right. professionalism, Bricky. A little professionalism goes a long way. Listen, all right. Let me let me make <laughs> all right. L- listen, listen. One, I forgot Ricola was from there. Two, <laughs> look, look. All right, like I was at a hundred and ninety person tournament. All right. Uh huh. Uh-huh. All right. It was a big Warhammer tournament, and look, look at us. I right. saw that on Twitter. Look. I was like, "All right, even if you lose, you win, right?" Like it, that's the thing, though. Like, do you think I wasn't shouting the entire time I was there when I was? We had a team of tracksuit wearing boys. Well, fair, but you you would have been yelling regardless. I would have been yelling regardless. You're yeah, right. So that's. Uh, yeah. Anywho, so regardless of all that, uh, thank uh, shout out to uh, to local Warhammer group and tournament organizer uh, Dice Hammer, and shout out to uh, the event organizer, our boy Mister Nick Dice Hammer, because Mister Nick just has decided that five game events are better than six, and that he's so right. So I got home yesterday at seven instead of ten, and hey. I could actually get time to research this topic, and so. Wow, his last name is Dice Hammer, huh? Wow, what a coincidence that he just happened to fall into, you know, doing that. His last name is not Dice Hammer. What a coincidence. What a nice last name, Dice Hammer. Why are you the way that you are? What is that, like, what is that, German? Yes. <laughs> Deutschhammer. Deutschhammer, yes, We just pronounce it wrong. We just keep screwing up the pronunciation because we're dumb Americans. What a bunch of silly goofballs we are. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little, All right. bit. Just a little goofball. All right, are, are, you, are you ready for your quote? Not really, but let me get it wrong anyway. Hit me with it. All right. <clears throat> Listen, bro, this shit is the future, all right? I've sold all of my NFTs. I sold all of my Bitcoin. I am going 100% deep into this. There's no way this will fail. What the f- uh, that that just sounds like some degenerate bad decision making. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, See who mm-hmm. who makes the worst decisions in Warhammer mm-hmm, besides mm-hmm. the emperor. Maybe the emperor. Maybe Wait. maybe the emperor's webway project is like pseudo NFT crypto. You okay, know? It's just, just bad what, ideas. What, what are what are, NF, what are NFT crypto bros currently on about right now? 
I have no idea, actually. Damn what it. are they on about? Sh- Shy, you you kind of you kind of get where I'm going in this 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 joke, right? You kind of you kind of get the vibe. Okay, oh, okay, no. I'm making sure you I, got it. Look, man, I've I've <laughs> well, yes, I'm a moron, but like I haven't. I I don't remember the last time I logged on to Twitter. All okay. right, uh, you, you know what? You know what? That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, what is okay? I'm gonna try one more time. What is the 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 current degenerate thing sweeping the internet right now that is a a that is being adopted by bad people uh i i genuinely don't know god damn it i wish i could be like oh yeah obviously it's dogecoin but it's i i existential threat to many people's jobs uh e-commerce obviously holy shit i don't it's ai ai oh. ai 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 everything we're doing an episode on ai on the ai stuff ai in warhammer and its various implications AI. Uh, uh, uh yeah okay yeah uh yeah yeah you know yeah hmm uh hmm uh, I'm stupid. That was that was pretty pretty obvious, actually. I I, I must say, like I, I that think was, I, this, I, was, this was pretty pretty obvious, and and yeah, I'm 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 that's listen, a big L. Listen, Shy is the mean one here. I try to give you the benefit of the doubt. It's kind of hard. Just it's a big universe. It's kind of hard, and you know I. But if you don't spend much time on Twitter, I got that. In my defense, I lost an hour of sleep. I thought so. Did I? I thought. Well, yeah, but you, you're your horse and everything. I, I horse? am not used to that. You know, I am. I am not used to not getting my beauty sleep. Oh, oh, your horse! I thought you called me a horse. I was like, what? In the hell is happening? So, as you can see, dear listeners, we are both varying degrees of stupid. Me, I can't get a quote to save my life, even if it is just brain-numbingly obvious and all over the place. Because it is AI, the AI problem is ubiquitous. Doesn't matter if you're on Twitter, I still missed it. Bricky, if I say he's Hi. hoarse because his voice is gone, he thinks I called him a horse. So we're varying degrees of just ugh, stupid. Like we're we are two different shades of dumb. Well, I am extremely shaded. So let's <laughs> let's let's chat about AI and Warhammer. <laughs> oh boy, I the the illegal AI in Warhammer. You you know if heretical AI. Yeah, well, and yeah, heretical AI to some, uh, you know, in portion to others. I, I won't lie, uh, to, to go with the bit, it, it would be, like, mildly funny if if we did, like, an AI thumbnail generated from all the other Adeptus Ridiculous thumbnails. But I, I do want to pay, you know, I, I do want us to pay Ted for, for his work. Yeah, obviously. But the, the concept of using that is, like, like the irony removes my moral implication for it this one time, but I, honestly, I, I, don't I think, think we, we should just have Ted do his interpretation of bad AI artwork and just have him actually draw like a hand that has like six fingers that Ooh. are all twirling in the wrong direction. His interpretation of what bad AI art would be. A real artist drawing bad AI artwork. We've we we're burying ourselves in layers of irony. Oh yeah, the, we're 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 the meta. We're meta chasing. Oh, that's good. That's good. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, AI and Warhammer. So, uh, you know, topical for the current day and age. AI is a a genuine uh, commercial Problem. commercial and existential threat. Uh, all of us here are not huge on ai in terms of artistic works no. uh if you're do, if you're using it for things like automation for you know finance and that kind of stuff whatever mm-hmm. totally fine uh artwork 
uh, specifically so uh, voice acting. Also, we're yeah. all we're all yeah. very much not not a happy not happy campers. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. But in Warhammer, it'll get you. Oof. Well, in the Imperium, anyway. Uh, you ooh, a mm, 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 yeah, none of ooh. that stuff. The Mechanicus will find you and hurt you. Oh, okay, one one quick one quick uh, caveat. Uh, Shy does use an AI voice for her channel, but that is a uh, that is a a anonymity and and function purpose. It is not stealing and using it for a video game example. Uh, true. Um, but yes, uh, we're as getting yelled at by uh, people or, or getting swarmed by blue check marks on Twitter is the worst thing you could possibly deal with in real life when you bash on AI. Uh, bashing on AI is simply commonplace in the Imperium of Man because mm-hmm. if you have a blue check mark in the Warhammer, you are killed. Whoa! Just just for being verified? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> l- listen, who verifies you? AI sympathizers. Oh. You share by 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 uh, uh, association. Oh, okay, okay. But in 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 Warhammer, there are some that are cool with AI, like the what the League of Votan use are are significantly into AI. Right, their That's- whole thing is AI. That is correct. You've also got the Tau and. Uh, how we define the Necrons is a bit of a question. Yeah, um, they seem they seem like they would be okay with AI. Like maybe, well, I guess they're kind of AI. Like they're robots with, yeah, that's that's a little, yeah, it's a little uh, column A, column B, I suppose. <clears throat> we have not done a a real in depth episode on the dark age of technology. Ooh, yeah. Might be a cool thing to do at some point. Um, but, for example, you are familiar with the Men of Iron, correct? Oh, yes. Yes, they're the whole reason that AI was uh, um, banned in the Imperium, right? That's correct. Are you familiar with the Men of Stone? No, actually. Okay, that's fine, because nobody else is either. Um <laughs> Hooray, so, I'm not the only ignorant one. Great. So if, if this next five minutes sounds like just typical GW, what is even happening uh, type of content, like, y- yeah, uh, it, <laughs> it's, right. it's a time. So the men of gold, the, the, the men of gold are a uh-huh. subsection of humanity. Uh, it is said that they appeared... Uh, during the Age of Terra, which is when the Emperor uh, eventually was like, hi, I'm the Emperor. I'm going to make you all great. Okay, um, okay. And so, to, you know, learn from mankind, etc. And the men of gold went across all of old Earth, removing the anarchy and being physically and emotionally superior races. Now, it, if this sounds okay. like they're just literally just custodians... It, yeah, that, I was going to say, that just sounds like custodians that are uh, early age custodians that have showed up with the emperor and are just wiping out anything that doesn't fall in line. Right. So <clears throat> during their time fixing Earth, they created the Men of Stone. Uh, oh, no. And eventually by M21, so a long time ago, <laughs> um, the Men of Gold's influence had, you know, waned and nobody knows what happened to them. They just disappear. Yeah, they just it's just eventually their influence was waned and they were taken over by the men of stone. No one knows what happened to them. Uh, huh. Now, the reason I, I say this, because this is almost verbatim, is because the source for this is the Warhammer 40K third edition rulebook, which came out wow. in 1998. Yeah, that was a little, little while ago. Yes. Yeah, so this is 26 year old lore. Oof. Um, oh boy do i feel old there are many viewers uh, and listeners that were not alive when no the men no of no gold you need to stop doing that stop doing that existed. stop doing that this book can drink <laughs> yes it can it can drink you can vote it can serve it can do it can, all the rent things. a car it can rent a car it can drive yep 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 so um anywho <laughs> Damn, DK was in his 40s in 1996. 
I'm not even in my 40s now, Shy. Thank you. Um, yeah. Anywho, so, you know, the personal theory, this may have been like proto custodies and their influence maybe waned because the the emperor really likes to kill off his closest helpers and then bring no in the way. the better <laughs> helpers after that so yeah. maybe he just murdered them i don't know yeah I, I, what what was the the thunder thunder warriors uh, thunder warriors that yeah mm-hmm, yep mm-hmm. so the men of stone were a class of artificial beings made by the men of gold slash emperor at the time um hmm. they were part of the dark age technology and they were made with the purpose of colonizing deep space uh th- they're not as strong as the men of gold or anything but they were great engineers they built crazy ass constructions uh and eventually created the first ever warp drive um which was kind of which was not like well i think they created the first ever warp drive um mm. citation needed uh so but, so they're ai robots what 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 are what are they they are artificial beings are they robots i don't know because so <laughs> so they're damn. not made of stone they're not like they're not actually men of stone is it just because they're really good builders and it's like oh they're really good at stone you know, building stuff, stone, ground so up. Like what? You're asking questions that I have about a paragraph of lore for. <laughs> so, oh, so, okay. Sorry. Uh, I it, just figured their name had some, you know, it would define why they're called what they're called. But all right, go ahead. So I, I have no idea. All I know is that they were built. They, they were they were made. They were they were artificial and crafted by the men of gold slash Big E. They created the first warp drives, which were a lot like the Tau's warp drives. So they're not as fast as our current warp travel, but they're also not going through hell. Yeah, so, it's the first warp drive that was ever made. So, of course, by, you know, today's Imperium, it's going to seem archaic. Just like, you know, the first airplane or like the right what the Wright brothers were flying seems a little archaic by our standards because, you know, it was a billion years ago. No, you have it backwards. Um, oh, they, they are. It is a, a not as fast as warp travel currently, but it is a significantly higher tech thing like the Tau have the, like, ah, like, as in it's gotcha. way safer. It, right, it's F, it's right, FTL. Right. It's like FTL. Uh, OK, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So it's way better and safer, but just slower. Uh, right. But like okay. not slower in like a massive amount, you know. OK. Um. Uh, right. So. That's the thing. The next part that Shai just posted here that I was about to read is the stone men existed in a state of half life, whatever that means. So they were unaffected by demons of the warp, which made warp travel better. Uh, And considering that we know that living beings and AI are both affected by the warp, I still don't know what they are. But the point is that the men of stone eventually made the men of iron as servants for them and to help them with deep space colonization. However, the men of iron, which are AI constructs, eventually revolted and killed everybody. Yes, yes, they did. They sure did. So the men of stone are somewhere between living and AI. They're not either one. And they made the men of iron as servants, and the men of iron revolt and kill everybody, kill the men of stone, and thus we we say no, we say no to AI. AI bad. Look what it did. Look what it wrought. Brother, honestly, I I don't even know if you're right. I don't I don't even know. All all I know, men of gold made men of stone, then men of gold went away, and then men of stone made men of iron, and then men of stone went away and because men of iron killed them all. And then men of iron went away because we killed them all uh, after our horrible, horrible war. It's a circle, a hoop that never ends. It's not a a loop. It's a spiral. (laughs) Sam Lake, you You hack! hack. Anywho, so... (laughs) Obviously, the men of iron were are, are AI robots, Terminator style. They are murder, uh, automa, socialist automatons here to take our freedom. 
No, nah, where's the dreadnought? Deploy the dreadnought. Destroy the box. Destroy the box. Hell divers entering combat zone. I still haven't played that, by the way. <laughs> the new mech. Yeah, I haven't played it. It's pretty fun. Okay. Um, so. They were uh, the men of iron were made to help the men of stone colonizing the galaxy. However, before the age of strife, for whatever reason, we're not quite sure. They turned on the human masters and then did the cybernetic revolt, which uh, and I quote, was a war so destructive it made the Horus heresy seem small in scale. Wow. I was going to say, how did we end up stopping the men of iron, because like that seems like more than a task for humanity at the time. So I, uh, um, I don't know. It says here, like the men of iron employed world consuming constructs, devices that could destroy suns, weapons that could throw entire continents into the heavens and swarms of nano machines that covered entire planets. However, wow. in the end, the men of iron were destroyed by an alliance of galactic powers. This is cited by the first and only novel of Gaunt's Ghosts, which they talked about near the end before they found the STC. Uh, however, it does need citation here because while it does seem insane that the humans could ever fight this off, at the same time, the humans also had this technology too. Because we were in the Dark they, Age of Technology. Right, That that's true. Dark Age of Technology, humans are significantly stronger than they are right now. And they're pretty goddamn strong right now. Um, and I guess, what, what uh, Shai said, all alien races joined into the fight, so it's just like the Milky Way galaxy against the Men of Iron. So I guess I, the Men of yeah. Iron are kind of going to be on the losing end of that. I don't have much of the whole other aliens joining the fight thing, uh, but Shai does say that she has a a good reference to explain, quote, the trauma the men of iron inflicted upon their creators. Uh, let's see here. Uh -huh. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> it's Legion. I genuinely thought you had something. I was like, oh, I didn't find this. Where could this be? Ah, uh, yes. The Geth. The poor, poor Geth. Poor Geth. I mean, yeah, is poor it poor Geth though? I mean, they they turned on their creators and they were pretty successful. So it does make sense. I mean, that kind of is the vibe that happened. Like the the Quarians made the Geth to be servants and and you know all that, and then you know they kind of turn on them and drive them from their home planet, take over. Uh, shoot, what's the Quarian homeworld called? Rannoch. Rannoch. Yeah. Except there was never a nice, happy, oh, we can coexist on Rannoch in, in Mass Effect like Yeah, Mass no, Effect no. Yeah. They also didn't have sun-destroying weapons, and et cetera. No, 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 um, they didn't. That being said... Tallymancer for life, though. Yeah, uh, fa fair enough. Mm -hmm. If Liar gets all the content. That's true. Which That's is unfortunate, true. but you know. Big Thankfully, blue. in the Legendary Edition, they fixed Tally Unmasked because... Oh, oh did they actually? Yeah. Yep, oh, it's, good, a, it's a lot better now. It's not a stock photo that they just kind of airbrushed over. I'm surprised they didn't just, like, make the scene with yeah, the Legendary I know, Edition, right? you know? Like, did they like the just not have the, did they not have the sprite ready? Because maybe it's like, oh, yeah, the code's there, but, like, we literally didn't make a face for her. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. not Anyway, important. sorry, this is not a Mass Effect podcast. Go ahead. No, no, one day we'll do an episode. Oh, hell <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Uh, anywho, uh, so, of course... The Age of Strife was, uh, like, the, the worst time ever. The Age oh, of yeah. Strife uh, or mm -hmm. Old Knight was, hey, all the machines are revolting and murdering everybody. And also, by the way, all the humans destroyed the machines, but then we're all totally hurt by this. Uh, also, by the way, warp storms, you can't travel to anyone ever, ever at all anywhere. Yeah. Everybody's cut off from everybody else. So if you were if you were depending on supplies from the Imperium, you're screwed. And, you know, this might last for, oh, I don't know, 5,000 years. <laughs> so life was shit. Good luck. Um, naturally, uh, the hatred of intelligences and ab abominable intelligences, as they're called, uh, stemmed from a lot of this problem and is one of the main reasons why there is the techno-religious uh, techno cult of Mars 
that mm. came from not just not just to mention the uh, the re- revering of individuals able to work the life support systems on Mars, but all uh, over the course of five thousand years, but also the extreme fear of any kind of AI, considering what they did to us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and also why it's like, no, no more inventing. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. Uh, again, yep. of course, a few of these sources are Warhammer 40k, third edition rulebook. Sure, sure. From 26 years ago. Thanks. You're welcome, sir. I, um, I was two. Um, I'm not going to talk about how old I was. It was a number. It wasn't two. All right. <laughs> um, uh, anywho, so... With this, uh, now, the men of iron are, for the most part, extinct. Um, (laughs) There are, however, of course, other AIs in the galaxy that do not resemble the men of iron. That being said, there is technically one known surviving man of of iron. Man of iron, I suppose there's only one of them. Uh, How How did that one get away? So this one is called UR-025. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Shai is not entirely wrong there. Uh, he slapped an Imperial Quilla on itself, and, and or it, he <laughs> walks around and says, if anyone is asked, uh, Mago's John Human Man is controlling this robot, piss off, and people leave him alone. Um, okay. Does, he doesn't actually <laughs> say John Human Man is controlling me, right? There's no way. He, I'm sure there's an actual name, and Shy is just being like funny, right? I I'm not sure. There is a short story on him called Man of Iron, uh, written by Guy Haley, I believe. Uh, but this is a model that is part of the Blackstone Fortress box that is with that one super over the top, uh, like guy with the big pelt. Remember. Oh the, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The the rogue trader guy who's uh-huh. all into himself. Yeah. Um. So in that box of the Blackstone Fortress, it's all there. You know that whole group. This mini, this man of iron is part of it. Uh, they are for the most part going to enter the Blackstone Fortress and join the group to discover and learn more about it. Mm-hmm. Um. But for the most part, and from the short story and everything that's been ta- talked about, it is a man of iron. It pretends to be one of the Adeptus Mechanicus war machines, and normally the Mechanicus get really mad when you touch their stuff, so no one really bugs him. That's 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 true. That's fair. I mean, if if I thought that was an Adeptus Mechanicus machine, I wouldn't mess. Well, I mean, just look at it. I wouldn't mess with it, period. Uh, but yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that being said, uh, it apparently deems itself greater than humanity, but does not hold any malice for them. It thinks it's better, but is not like does not hate them or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't seem to much like having to kill in order to remain free. Um, but, but will if it has to. <laughs> but will if it has to. As it has a um, Gatling gun for an arm. It's Barrett. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Stop with your Final Fantasy. I can't. I it, I have sixty hours into the fucking thing. Leave your home. I can't. Like anyway. I mean, I could. I just don't want to. So like he's. A man of iron is is quite strong, right? So if if he wanted to, he could raise some absolute unholy hell. He doesn't want to. He doesn't really care. He's fine with the humans, but like if he got mad, he could he could mess up like a lot of people's day, right? I mean, so the men of iron are it's not like the exact it's like like Terminator, right? In Terminator, you have your basic classic red robot skeleton Terminator guy, but then you also have other big crazy machines, you know? Yeah, that's true. As far as I can tell, considering that this guy is about the size of like probably not even the size of a castle and a robot. It's probably the size of like, I don't know, a bigger space marine, like a centurion. Mm-hmm. Um uh, maybe slightly larger than that. It, it's it's probably like a ground troop, you know. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess I just figured men of iron, and then like you know, you, you hear all the stories about how awful—not awful they were, but how horrible their uh, reign was, and they're killing everyone, and the whole galaxy has to unite to destroy them. And it's just you think even one of them would be like a huge problem if it decided to start some shit. Yeah, I mean, like 
it, I mean, it'll be a huge problem in the sense that it has an assault cannon for an arm and it, it'll, <laughs> it'll go through everybody. But, yeah. you know, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He he doesn't try to start anything because he's you know he doesn't hold any grudges. He's not a malicious man of iron, but still, you know, if a wire gets crossed and he goes into turbo ultra kill mode, like you know, yeah. Well, you know, it's the same reason why. Any, I will always go back to to one of my favorite things I've ever read, which is some guy saying asking a question about hey. You know, if Eldar see humanity as just primitives, why do they even bother like being scared of them? And the response was, <laughs> well, a space if a space marine is to them uh, is the same thing as having a silverback gorilla in full plate blow into your uh, house with a shotgun waving it around. <laughs> you'd be pretty frightened. <laughs> yeah, they might be primitive, but that doesn't stop them from being really strong and still very able to kill you. So, yeah, yeah, so. Like, yeah, you know, it may it may just be the ground troop of a man of iron. But if this is like the men of irons equivalent of a guardsman, oh, God. Yeah, that's that, yeah. If that's the men of iron guardsman, that's that's a problem. Yeah, so. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was the lowest rung in the men of iron. You were what? Um, now, anyway, of course, that is the men of iron. As far as we know, the fact that we even have one is kind of crazy as an yeah. as an, uh, uh, an actual like thing. Mm. Um, that being said, uh, I do know that there is other men of iron that did exist for a short period of time uh, down in the first and only novel of Gaunt's Ghost, which we mm. have uh, read ourselves. Yep. The little production facility that they had to blow up. Yep, way at the end, uh, where some of the more dubious individuals wanted to use it as a way to, you know, like make the Imperium really strong. Yeah, they wanted. Yeah, they wanted to use it for for humanity. Humanity. Yes, uh, specifically by the Lord High Militant General and uh, awful asshole Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Gaunt, because he's a righteous commissar, said no way, no how. Also, yep. this thing might be corrupted by chaos. And as it started spitting out <laughs> men of iron, they were in <laughs> totally fact, was totally it's corrupted by chaos. By chaos. <laughs> spoiler, oh, I man. guess for spoiler, I guess for Gaunt's ghost uh, released oh, yeah. in August of 1999. Oh no, another book that makes me feel old. Ah. I, I won't lie. Uh, Gaunt, first Gaunt's Ghost being came coming out twenty five years ago. That that holds up really yeah. well. <laughs> when you said nineteen ninety nine, I was like, wait, what? Really? Yeah, that that's that's like actually that's a like, good book. Like that's that that book is like timeless almost. Like a little bit. Um, although uh, the, the, the Space Marines are kind of weak in that book, but they've gotten better lately. But like, who cares? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anywho, uh, so that is a great segue to talk about the other kinds of AI that humans made, which are standard template constructs. Hey, STC. STC. Um, so STCs were created, again, Dark Age technology. Uh, mm -hmm. They are said to have the entirety of human technology no uh, and knowledge up to then. Every possible thing they have ever known, ever. Hmm. Um, Assuming which, you can amass them, because they're all just scattered across the galaxy now. Right, but naturally, of course, you place them in various areas that are or in ships, and then you send them out uh, into the dark, deep, dark uh, areas of space, and then that construct will let you, will tell you how to make a farm and how to make a base and etc. Yep. Or how to make a really good knife. Knife. A knife. Uh, Right. Hey, shit. Speaking of, as mm -hmm. mentioned in Gaunt's Ghost. Yep, yep, uh, yep. A, a Katachin, uh, not, oh, not a Katachin guy. I think maybe it was a, a guard. I don't remember who. Um, they made, they found one that made knives, and the knives it made were the new ones Space Marines were mm -hmm. using, and the guy was given an entire planet. Given a whole planet to retire on. And just good job. Yep. Here's a paradise world. Great job. Yep, like, yep. SDCs are important. They they mean it, if, if for a thing that makes knives. Now it's a space marine gladius, so it's a yeah. Very I was gonna say it but, is a it is a standard issue knife for a space marine. That's pretty important for them. Uh, I mean, you know. There's a, a hilarious thing here, which uh, there's an excerpt here that says the STC for a type of paint 
was actually discovered <laughs> by a force of Skatarian guard that allowed the paint to uh, have a unique composition to be painted to war gear way faster. Um, oh. It was secured by Commissar Trast. Uh, however, this STC caused rebellion on several hive worlds responsible for painting vehicles. And it huh. forced the Imperium to enact a compliance on the pigment wells. Um, wow. And uh, due to this, they assumed the STC might have been corrupted by chaos, which took <laughs> several hundred years to fully declare uncorrupted and <laughs> several sanctioned. Several hundred years? Over Com- paint? Commissar Trast was then awarded a world for his discovery. However, considering how long the compliance took, it is unlikely he survived to receive his reward. <laughs> to receive his planet. Oh, my God. Have we talked? The name Trast sounds really familiar. That just sounds like a, a, an imperial name. I'm sure there has been like a Trast before. Mm, maybe. So the whole problem was Hive Worlds were upset because they were like, no, we paint things. You yes. found a thing that paints things faster. We That's our job. This is our yeah. living. Yes. <laughs> so they thought it was corrupted by chaos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great uh, stuff. AI. This is this is why we can't have AI, everyone. So that's that's the weird part about STCs, right? Is that an <laughs> STC can be a lot of things. An mm-hmm. STC can basically just be a gigantic 400 pentabyte computer full of knowledge and things you need to learn. Mm-hmm. Or an STC can be a living, acting AI that can cause you a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, do you remember? Was that the, the ship that oh. uh, laughed at the ad mech for being like, yes. uh, the Omnissiah, you idiots, watch this, turns them all off. Yes, you did it. Yes. I'm proud of you. Yes. yes. I'm learning. That was one of my tabs, the sp- Spirit of Eternity. Let's go. Yes. This, a, I made up for not getting the quote. Yes. It, um, yes, I did. Yes, I okay. did. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, so I uh, remember it arrived once and it was like it, from like a time thing. And it's, it was part of it. had like a human captain. And then they were like, hey, what's up? Uh, uh, this human captain is going to warn you about chaos coming. And then they murdered his captain and it got <laughs> really, really mad. Yeah. And then it did all that fun stuff. Um, I, I will admit there is a, a very interesting bottom excerpt about this that I was not aware of. Bottom text? So Avenging Sun is a book that came out in 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, and it said Arch I'm gonna use this full I'm gonna use his full name. Do it. Arch Magos Dominus Belisarius Call. Uh, was wow. rumored to have later found the spirit of eternity and bested its AI in a game of wits. Wow. Which is the most call thing I have ever heard. That's that's a pretty big deal because that was no like that wasn't just some stupid little thing. That's that's an AI that shuts down Admech because it just doesn't like them and thinks they're stupid. Yeah, but what like a, what a call thing to do? Like to True. like I will best you in a battle of wits, literal <laughs> AI ship. Yeah, that is something Call would do. For some reason, I just imagine them playing chess. I'm not really sure insane, why. Honestly, just, yeah, just Call playing chess and like the AI calling out its moves, like pawn to d4. You know, and I don't know why. Ooh, here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, are you? Uh, familiar what what is the name for chess in 40k um, oh you've heard it all right i feel like i've heard it because like i don't know if it was the lot one of the books they were like oh i'd love to sit down with a glass of amersec and play bleh with you but i don't remember what the game was called mm, they talk it's uh they talk about it a lot in eisenhorn it starts with an r nope Ah, regicide. Regicide! That makes so much sense! Yeah, it's, it's basically ah, just... Of course, regicide. Damn it. Yeah, it's basically just uh, just chess. Chess, but, gotcha. Um, but yes, I, I do believe they probably play regicide. Regicide. That's a that's a great name for chess. I, I, I like that. That's true. Warhammer Tabletop does also exist in Warhammer. That's, that's true. Really? Yeah, just well, like like a little miniature game does exist. 
Oh, okay. I thought you were just like, well, yeah, what do you think they're doing when they're looking at the hollow list and they're moving all their troops around? <laughs> it's Warhammer. No. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure the hollow list is like literally yeah. like, like a hollow thing. Yeah, um, it's, it's a hollow thing of the battlefield. But yeah, I just, yeah. yeah uh, you know, that, being, be- that being said, though, um, I, w- I will say, uh, what is it? Do you remember when Perturabo smashed Fulgrim's face into a custom <laughs> Titan miniature on his <laughs> desk? Yes. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's true. It's it's a little mini. Yeah. <laughs> mini. Um, mini. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so STCs off obviously are the most sought after thing from the Mechanicus. And when they appease it, as they say, they, they will enter the knowledge of them and whether it lets them or not. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it'll get who knows what, because STCs no. are, despite how powerful they are, they are so old that yeah. they, for the most part, can become incredibly dis- de- decayed, poor. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that STC that had the special kind of paint probably had everything else you needed, but yeah, it, it probably had everything paints. you needed to build like a super house, but it's like it's it's been so long and the data has been corrupted. It's like all you could get out of it was the paint and not right. like the tools or not the materials or the nails or. Yeah. So various STC discoveries would help with these kind of thing. Um, for example, like in M36, there was an STC for the bigger chassis of Land Speeder, which created the Land Speeder Vengeance and the Dark Shroud variants. Oh. It, it just, you know, like, um, like following the Age of Apostasy, the Centurion STC was discovered. That's the big chunky one. And, okay. And okay. so on and so forth. You know, so Arkin, some, some pretty good finds. Hey, Ark and Land. Found, land Raider yeah, found the Land Raider, and then that's why it was <laughs> named after him. You know, um, which what space, is it? The the Bane Blade was actually just the Light Scout tank for yeah, the some, Dark Age some, of Humanity, or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that um, is. It's goofy. Yeah. Uh, during the Great Crusade, uh, the STC for the Lehman Rust battle tank was found by the Space Wolves. Uh, oh, was it and, found by Lehman Rust by any chance? I, well, actually, I don't know if it was. I think it was just found by the Space Wolves. And oh, so, and they're just like, honor Lehman Rust. Call it the Lehman Rust tank. Uh, pretty much. Gotcha, gotcha. I would assume the Rogel Dorn tank did the same. Mm. It wasn't um, actually Rogel Dorn that found the STC. Well, actually, in this case, no, I don't think so, because it's a relatively new tank. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> if Rogel Dorn ain't around to find it. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm sure the fists just found it. Yeah, no, um, honor Rogel Dorn. Yeah. But uh, this is a good thing to segue. And you're talking about the machine spirit. Hey. Um, so the machine spirit, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go on a limb here. It's just AI. It's just an AI. <laughs> it is AI. It is, a, it is a very light, low level AI that does not have its, any, any consciousness or ability to improve on itself. Okay. But they they're not they're not going to admit that that's the that's the damn machine spirit you must appease it they will never Incense, say say prayer. shit no, no no for for them the machine spirit and the reason they do their stuff is the same reason why you are locked out of your computer <laughs> you forgot the password yeah like I am locked out of my PC I I need to try a password or find a way around it. That is for them what appeasing the machine spirit is for entering a, a rhino or or a <laughs> doom crawler or something. Okay. <laughs> it's just his password entry. Okay. Yeah, mixed with about 15,000 years of religious zealots, uh, uh, zealous zealotry. behavior. Yeah. 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 I don't think zealotry is actually a word, even though I've said it a million times. It sounds like it should be religious zealotry. It just it sounds like it should be, and it sounds like it could be. Oh wait, it oh, is hear- a word. Let's go! My yeah. English major's paying off, baby. Well, it's a creative writing degree, so I really, you know, I eh. huh, creative writing degree. Yeah, it's about as huh? useful as a business degree. Can can you can you write my scripts? Um, I mean, could I? Sure. Would they be any good? Oh. I think uh, you should probably re- just keep with your current script guy, you know. Mm. I haven't I haven't actually written anything in like over a decade, so, you know. 
So Shai makes an uh, interesting point, and I think this is a, a fascinating thing to determine between which kind of machine spirit, um, because sometimes the machine spirit is, yeah, kind of animalistic, like a titan hmm. or a knight. Um, so they they need to, yeah, basically kind of break a titan like they would break a horse and kind of force oh. it into compliance. Yeah, like in... Um... Assassin Shoot. on Kingmaker. Kingmaker, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, when when uh, they have to get in the night, right? So I think it's a little different uh, in that because I think you're more you're not necessarily appeasing the night, you're appeasing the dead souls of the people in the AI, like like Throne Mechanica Matrix. True, it's, but it, like it, when when they tried to pilot it without appeasing the dead souls, it was kind of like trying to like ride a wild animal essentially wasn't it well they were like like you can control a knight without plugging yourself in but it's clunky and weird yeah whereas like if you were plugged in it's like moving your own limbs okay uh is that, that's how i remember the book yeah, um yeah, yeah. but yeah titans for example do need to be like corralled by the princeps because the titan is strong and it has a vicious bloodlust huh I, I guess I never thought of it like that. Like, I, I didn't, I because I knew you needed, like, the princeps to, like, help move it. I just kind of thought they were there to because, like, oh, it's such a heavy burden on the pilot. You need multiple. I didn't realize that it was, like, because of the machine spirit, the Titan is, like, a wild animal. And without the princeps, that thing is just going to go buck wild like a brainless savage. It's hard to determine exactly how we can define this because it's it's not because obviously the machine spirit is clearly some kind from in the real world is clearly some kind of small minor AI. Huh. Um, that being said, uh, you know, in the world of Warhammer, it is considered to be something uh, like a soul, a, yeah. a, you know, and so <clears throat> a soul needs appeasing. Mm-hmm. But we've also found out, crazy enough, uh, is that chaos and the warp can corrupt AI, both in Gaunt's Ghosts and in weird situations with the Votan. Mm-hmm. So, like, per, who and and emotions, for example, feed the warp. So do Ooh. the machine spirits of these titans with their never ending lust for a war over hundreds and thousands of years mean they have to be corralled like horses now? We're we're yeah. in deep Warhammer theory right now. Yeah, yeah. But it's a thought, you know? There's things to huh. think about. That's interesting, because like I said, I always thought that like Titans and Knights and everything, that I, I just figured they were big robots that were built and when no one's piloting him, they just they're idle because you know nobody hit the on switch. I didn't I didn't realize that the machine spirit like was that extent of like you know you need to corral this thing with princeps, otherwise. As some uh, Titan princeps don't do it properly, and they just they just burn out. Like like the the, the Titan will just kill them and like burn their mind out because they wow. couldn't handle it. Damn. Um. Yeah, that, that happens often. I mean, and you know, like the night version is a little different how they try to do it um, yeah. because of the, you know, the throw mechanic and all that. But uh, but then like also there are situations like in one of the books, um, there was the Crimson Fist chapter fighting orcs and the whole crew inside the Land Raider had, were, were dead. But the Land Raider kept fire fighting. It just like a machine kept going, kept shooting, oh, kept yeah, killing. Yeah. So that happens, Um, you know, drop pods use a light machine spirit to help their trajectory, which is probably just AI targeting. Probably. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's it's weird. You know, um, yeah, space marine armor has. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to they have to appease the machine spirit in their in their armor. Yeah. Yeah, because because the armor has like tracking and it has like number of bullets left in your gun and mm-hmm. all the other stuff like but these are all you know very light constructs minor things where yeah things we could we could add now in the 21st century you know yeah 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 it's um, it's not like there's a uh, something uh where it's like oh no the machine spirit in my armor has gone crazy it's crushing me 
Yeah, it probably probably not like that. No. Yeah, it's choking me. Um, so that's generally humanity's AI. Uh, and light bits of AI. Uh, there are other instances of AI out and about. Um, Voton, for example. Voton are all about the AI. They love that. Not only do they revere <laughs> their ancient, uh, S- possibly STCs, they call them super cogitators, but... <laughs> so just SCs. No sure, keys. sure. Just SCs. Uh, the Voton are, I mean, they're basically STCs as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. um, however, it, it specifically states that these things are weapon specifications, military theory, geological data, science philosophy, and STCs. So oh. these could be like the machine that contains that makes the, the STC. STC. Oh, that's and a big deal. Because of their 10,000 years or more of constant usage, these, <laughs> uh, with their like near limited power, the amount of data has caused the ancestor cores to become a little weird <laughs> and develop personalities sometimes. Just a little weird. Just a, a little, little weird. weird. And 10,000 bit- years of not turning the PC off will do that, dude. Yeah, it, it, they start getting a little strange and getting some personalities, and that is what leads to each individual league uh, to having its own kind of methodology, like the uh, Cronus Hegemony being a, a warlike group and the Ymir Conglomerate being such a technological group. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, uh, these Voton, uh, Votons spit out the Ironkin, which are literally just men of iron. They are just robots. <laughs> they are... They are J- literally just fucking robots and okay, okay. Uh, they are treated as friends they are they are they're cool looking to be fair yeah they're comrades they're allies they they are not robots where they're not they are sorry sorry as in like slaves oh okay i was gonna say those are a hundred percent robots dude i don't know what what's in your coffee this morning but that's a robot <laughs> sorry they, they are not slave labor yeah robots. they they are comrades they are friends they are equals they they help they're wonderful uh you can't go out and have a beer with, i mean i guess you could have a beer with one i don't know what it would do with it but it would hang out with you at the bar you you absolutely can have a beer with it 100 yeah. percent can have a beer with it um it it if, Kin are friends, not yeah. food. <laughs> I, I I don't know why, but now I just imagine one of those robots just at the bar, and it's like, ah, yes, cheers, and it just pours it over itself because it doesn't have a mouth, but it wants to seem, like, friendly, and it just copies what the little Voton are doing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. They, they're, they're treated as equals, and they also have funny personalities and stuff. Good for um, them. So you're telling me if I don't turn off my PC for another 10,000 years, it'll become my friend? Yeah. Oh, boy, I finally get one. You can live that way if you, if you, well, if you can live for 10,000 years. I, I'm planning on living forever. 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 For- anyway. Forever. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I love that little guy. His little tool belt. Oh yeah, he's he's got a great little yeah yeah. It's like a it's like a tool vest. It's like tool overalls actually. Yeah, it's a it's 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 great though. He he's part of yeah. the he's one of the assistants to the um the the Ironkin or not the Ironkin the um broke here Forge Master. That's his name. Am I the only one that kind of hopes there's one League of Voton guy that gets really attached to his uh, robot helper, and he's like, oh, man, you're such a happy guy, and then draws, like, a happy face on the dome? You know? Just to give him a little smiley face and be like, you're a happy guy. Doot, doot, boop, and, you know? Yeah, you know, I, I, I imagine them treating them like, um, what's his name, Baymax or something? Oh, yeah, 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 from yeah. Big Hero 6. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so there are the Voton in that way. They have AI, all that kind of jazz. Um, you also have Tau, which, of course, have classic AI like we normally would have in the 21st. Well, the hyper advanced, it's typical sci-fi stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily a personality or something. It's just like, you know, serious. Well, they do have personality AI. Um, they, they contain AI, I would argue, similar to the Ironkin. 
Uh-huh. Um, for example, one of uh, one of the good best examples is uh, Oblatai, which is a part of the eight, uh, and it is the remade intelligence. Oh, right. You're right of Farsight's old. Uh, I think either old mentor or something. I think I think it was the old mentor. Um, so yeah, it taught the young Farsight the basics of piloting a battle suit. Not the mentor. I think the mentor was Bright Sword or something. Right, but. right. I vaguely remember because I was like, oh, that sounds like the song Obla D, Obla Die, Life Goes On. Anyway, yeah, I, that's how I vaguely remember it because <laughs> it sounds like the song. I, I mean, whatever floats your boat. Shut up. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, it, it is a it is a scan of the original Oblatai's like brain and all that. So while this is a chip in the battle suit, this is basically an AI version of the original person. Um, oh, okay. Ooh, that's a he, he, that's a cool mech. Yeah, the, the battle suit's awesome. And through the time, Obatai goes from like Obatai four dash o five dash o six. That pretty much every time he dies. Ah, so kind of like in Destiny, when you get the when the the robots get the reboot, they get a number added to the end of their name. Pretty much. Um, Ew, Destiny reference. Yuck. You know, Yuck. I was always I was always a somewhat sympathizer, but after all the Bungie stuff lately, I'm I'm the, yeah, co- the cope is fading, dude. It's yeah, fading. It's, that's a toughie. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, Shy oh. said they're sentient AIs, kind of like AI in Soma. Brain scan of Tau uploaded into machines. Yeah. Soma I, was if, such a good game, too. God if I'm not... I, Soma was great. Oh, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the... I'm going to look this up. Uh, one of the Tau ethereals named Onva is uh, one of the main ethereal ones. Is actually, like, dead. But is, oh. there's an AI version of it leading the Tau as, like... It's like a, it's like if like Joe Biden like just fucking died and they made made like robot Joe Biden uh, to be like <laughs> to lead the Ro country, Biden. Ro, Ro Biden <laughs> <laughs> to just lead the country or whatever, but not isn't actually there. Oh, it's, okay, I, I I think I'm pretty positive. Yeah, might 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 help because you know his, his his health is declining. He is a tad old. Yeah, uh, as they say. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, uh, regardless of all of that, I, I mm. believe, uh, yeah, Tau leader is de- dead killed by Imperium assassins. Ethereals hide that by making AI of him that shows up on TV. It's literally <laughs> that. It's literally <laughs> that. All right. Okay. Well, hey, you know, I literally, guess good for them. Literally, Ro Biden. Ro Biden is, is leading the Tau right now, huh? Okay. All right. Well, hey, hey. They good, good for them. I don't, I don't know. Is that a good for them? I uh, dude, I have no idea. On Vol was is a shitlord. Remember when when Farsight and all of his gang were about to get murdered by by Chaos, and he asked for assistance, and he said he turned himself in. And On Vos said, uh, "Sucks to suck, <laughs> eat shit, bye." <laughs> yeah. It's like, why? What, what does it matter? You're about to die anyway. Why should I deal with you? Bye bye. Yeah, pretty pretty much like like literally that. Yeah. So, so what yeah, he's a kind shitter. of a dick. Yeah, well, yeah, so they've got an AI version of him just running the show? Yep, pretty much. Or is it just an AI version of like, oh, yeah, we make the laws, and we're just going to have this hollow AI projection do it for us? and Or does this AI of uh, what's-his-face actually make decisions? Dude, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. He's a dick. That's all that matters. Yeah, he's an asshole. We don't like him. AI or otherwise, he's a dick. So the only other AI that I can initially think about in all of the other factions, because um, I'm not going to count like Wa Energy. Yeah, that's um, a tough one. That's not really AI per se. That's just no weird warp orc green thing. Yeah, and it doesn't really count. Um, I get. I don't. Okay, so I don't know about Eldar. Yeah, you would think the Eldar, because they're very technologically advanced, you'd think they'd have some variation of AI, maybe not as, well, I don't want to say not as advanced, but, I mean, they're pretty technologically advanced, I I right. So, so, right, so so that my first thought was, like, okay, right, a lot of dead Eldar souls actually power their robots. That's Ra- true. Wraith things are dead souls that do that mm-hmm. kind of stuff, so on and so forth. 
Um, but there's also like, I don't like, 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 so like vehicles and other things that might have like automated stuff. Yeah. I, do, I don't know if like every single Eldar vehicle has a, a dead person piloting it. Yeah. Like in, well, in a I, way, if they have AI, it's not a big prominent thing for the Eldar. Like, I would assume not. No, yeah, like mostly it's it's the souls of the dead. It's the soul stones. It's it's all that stuff that's powering. They might have it somewhere in a machine, but it's not a big deal. They, you know. Yeah, I I would imagine. I would imagine that for the most part, like the Infinity Infinity Matrix, I think is the name, is the big circle of souls of souls that power like a craft world, mm-hmm. and so that is powered by their dead and everything like that. Now, how do they use this? I, I think it's maybe like it's wraith constructs with our and wraith constructs like wraith bone is mm-hmm. a psychically active material. Like Blackstone as a conduit, um. So, Maybe. so I'm assuming they use the psychic power of the the souls of the Eldar to power their stuff. Oh, Shai's right. There are soul stones on those tanks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So then, essentially, then. the soul stones are the AI. V- viewers, you uh, Eldar lore eludes me more often than I'd like. Um, if you have information for us, please let me know. Also, um, so that tank has multiple soul stones on it. Does so? Is each soul stone is like a dead person, right? Correct. Wow. So that thing's got three, four dead Eldar powering it. Like, how uh, exactly does more. that? How exactly does that work? Is it just is is does the machine just feed off of it or are the dead people's spirit actually like doing something? Um, that's a Chai? good question. Chai? I, I, oh, I, oh, you, you oh it's the actual spirits as a collective. They're actually in there as sort of a pseudo. I don't want to call it AI because it's not. So, yeah, so that like the spirits are. Like spirits, for example, are part of like it's like talk. It's, it's OK. Uh, Craft World Eldar are very much like feudal Japanese. That's that's like a, a big part of their shtick. Sure. Sure. Um, it, it's, you know, not just with like their garb and everything like that, but like the temples and, and the and, and the paths and that kind of uh-huh. thing. This is speaking to your ancestors, but like. In a literal fashion. In a literal way, yeah. So if you if if uh if an Eldar ship goes down, that is a huge loss. Like if they lose all those soul stones, that's a huge loss for the Eldar. Y- yes, that's why Eldar are so picky. Hard to kill. <laughs> picky with their battles, very fast. Um, because every dead Eldar is extremely irreplaceable in a lot of ways or or <laughs> or if a night lord just eats them because lol lamal right. or if a night lord raptor <laughs> thinks it's funny and eats like six <laughs> and he's like uh, yeah. i can hear them in my tummy <laughs> yeah it's it's the screeching souls of the eldar yeah um, yeah so uh, typical night lord shit um yeah. i i guess i never realized that all those that that there were that many soul stones like on the vehicles and stuff. It, it makes sense why they would want to be so fast, so picky, and just be like, look, <laughs> we don't want to lose our literal ancestors that are implanted in this ship. Yep, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's very important. And not only do you lose your ancestors, but you lose your power. Yeah, your power source, the thing that's powering your vehicles, yeah. Right. Because how many soul stones they got? I mean, I guess there are a lot of dead Eldar, and Eldar die all the time. But like, there are a lot of dead, dead Eldar. <laughs> yeah, after that whole Slanesh thing, there are a few dead Eldar. Um, but like, damn, damn. It is. It is for the you know for the most part and all that kind of stuff. Not AI. It is psychically no. powered stuff like that. I thought that they would have some kind of like, like technological matrix somewhere but considering that all eldar are psychic and they can and they can weave wraith constructs and and wraith stuff i i 
I guess their vehicles are made of wraith. And yeah, that's I why guess, they're psychically so. active, or, yeah. or maybe they're not, and and or maybe they're wraith not wraith bone. bone. I think they're wraith bone. Um, sure, God, this is a great question. Great, this is a great question. Actually, I we we will do an episode on wraith bone. That's I was that gonna say. Like this idea. this all sounds like a, a a great foreshadowing for like an episode. We should do um, an episode on wraith bone. We I agree. should do an episode on wraith bone. I am I am curious now. Because Bricky loves the Eldar. Oh, first first thing Shy sees. <laughs> Wraithbone effectively performs all the tasks a machine would. All right, perfect. Our answer is done. Cool. Episode done. That was not that was not in my in my list of uh, my list of tabs that I had open. Well, we can still do an episode on Wraithbone and the Eldar and the Soul Stones and how they work, and, and that'd be fun. I think that'd be a fun episode. Agreed. We should do that. Hell yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, there's only one last AI thing to discuss. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's Necrons, if we count that. Yeah. Do you count that as AI? So there's no... So, okay, so it's not like Eldar, because there's no soul. Because they're Yeah, soulless. there's no soul. They're just... Yeah. Because they've been eaten. Mm-hmm. But... They, they have consciousness. They do... And some have better consciousness than others. Yes, yeah, some remember when they were human. Very few, right? But still, it's not right. really AI per se, is it? But but is it? Like, okay, so so here's a here's a question, right? I mean, here's I guess question. I guess in the Necron body that would be artificial because there's no soul. So th- okay, let, let's think of it this way: let's, okay. uh, Do we refer to replicants? As AI from Blade Runner. I never saw them as AI. I never thought of them as AI, to be honest. Okay, but they are they are complete, but completely they, fabricated stuff, right? Yeah. They, they are, and I'm imagining, because like the Silent King, right? He's mm-hmm. perfect. Same yeah. personality. He remembers his time before, I'm pretty sure, because um, he's Zarek. Yep, uh, yep. The question is like, okay, what if I were to remake a human and, and literally remake their brain down to the atom? You know, like is it is technically an artificial intelligence? Yeah, I mean, but, technically, that is an AI. Technically. But at the same time, you know, this is the same guy. Yeah, down to the atom. And you know the the whole point of of Necrons is that their nobility maintained their intelligence, but even they are are like faltering because of the sleep. Yeah. So uh, uh, it's it's a it's a bit of a gray area, isn't it? It is. I I think we do call Necrons technically AI. Um, Necrons don't, yeah, don't believe themselves to be. They're just like, it's just me in a new body. Um, oh, yeah, even so if it's, it's the Soma effect, right? Right. Even if their soul is dead and eaten. Um, to the Imperium, don't think about it too hard or we'll kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Imperium addresses them as Xenos, not as AI. Okay. Right. Okay, well, they would know. So- so like my an- yeah. here here's my answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's a, that's kind of a gray area. That's 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 kind of a that's a, the the world is very rarely black and white, right? Is there's always little shades of gray in there. Yeah, that's a good point. And to make it even weirder, Necrons do have artificial intelligence like slaves which are the canoptic uh, oh, units, like right. wraiths and scarabs and the rest. Mm-hmm. So I, I, so basically, what I'm trying pseudo to pseudo AI is, using AI. What a world! Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, uh, <laughs> that's all I got, man. Everyone who was alive in the '90s can do a. Uh, I, I think I think Home Improvement was like. The one that like the most watched show, like it was like no top like five at the time. I watched it 
all the time with my parents and my bro- all the time. That's just so funny to me. <laughs> oh. 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 But yeah, anyway. uh, I mean, for the most part, that's AI in Warhammer. Uh, you know, I, I think we can probably learn more about it when the Votan get literally any books <laughs> and any lore at all. It's um, shocking. They still don't have anything. It's not even a book, man. What the hell? Like, how long have the Votan been out? Like, at least a couple years at this point, right? Oh, God, no. It's been like a year. Oh, really? It's that recent? I don't know why. I yeah. thought it was like at least two years. I assumed, assumed that you would at least like have a book ready to go when you launch them. Yeah, like you'd think you'd have some like big codex of lore that's mostly lore and uh, nothing. Yeah, a little little wackadoodle on that one. Yeah, that's that. that's a little that's a little wackadoo. Yeah. So. Anywho. Anywho, that's, is that that's the episode? That is the episode. That was a fun one. I like that. I like learning about the AI. Even if I absolutely bungled the quote at the beginning, which should have been painfully obvious. That was a fun one. I like that. You darn bungler. I I what's your boggle? B- boggle. <laughs> what's your what is your boggle? Boggle. Boggle. What is your boggle? That's right, from Demolition Man, another old movie, but a great one. Everybody should watch Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone and uh oh, I forget I the was, other guy. I was making a uh, I was making a different a different reference. Shy, did you get my reference? What reference were you making? Ah, oh, thank God. Sorry, DK, you're a loser. DK, why you're am, a loser. A why loser. am I a loser? What did you I want, do? Baby, want a bottle? Because you what? are dirt. What's your boggle? Oil paintings, oil paintings. Sea King, Sea King.